Hey guys, this is Austin, and today I'm here at CES 2014 with a new Ask Me answering all kinds of questions from you guys. But for this time, I have my good buddy Marquez. So you ready to do this? Yeah, let's go. What is your favorite thing you both saw at CES? For me, it was definitely the Oculus Rift Crystal Cove, uh, I guess, prototype. Um, so I've been a fan of Oculus for a little while. In fact, if you guys haven't seen that video, you can go check that out. But uh, I'm a huge fan of Oculus, and that really blew my mind. That was actually the first time you tried Oculus, right? First time I ever tried Oculus Rift, and I was actually a big fan of it. Yeah. But I'm going to say that wasn't my favorite thing. Okay. My favorite thing was all the pixels, and I kind of mentioned all the this pixels. a little bit on my channel. Uh, where I was talking about what to expect. Mm -hmm. um, there was a lot of 4K TVs, a lot of, well, not 4K cameras. There was a couple 4K cameras. But Few. There was plenty of TVs on display. So I'm going to say the pixels. How many computer build failures have you had? Me? I, every build has been perfect. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, I can, I can actually say that. I've built, because I, well, I've, okay, I've built two PCs uh, in my life. Okay. And both of them are still currently operational. Okay. I've had problems, sure, I've had like things, but I've never like killed a PC. Like, like maybe I've done something and it didn't work and I, but I was eventually able to fix it. So, like how many have failed? None, but how many of them have had to require maintenance? A few. All of them. No, no, no not all of them. Okay, okay. Like right. three maybe and I fixed them all, so don't worry about it. They're props. How many red and black gadgets does Marquez own? Does this count as a gadget? The no. shirt? No, it does not. No. <laughs> Everything. Okay, okay, some... a couple a couple examples. Okay, uh, the tripod is, the tripod I own is actually red and black. Okay. The Frodo head on it is red and black. Okay. The Canon camera on here will be black. It is not, the, it's... The cinema logo is okay, red. Okay, one the tiny little logo is red. Not... The <sighs> red ring on the lens is, okay. Um, I don't know. Like, yeah, just... Okay, the, you get, I think you have mini, the headphones. My, yeah, the red and black ATHM right. 50s, the headphones are red and black. Right. Uh, the tablet that I, I use an iPad mini, that's black, and it has okay. red headphones. Okay. Um, I don't have the red cover on my Nexus 10, but black Nexus 10, red cover. A lot of red and black contrast going on in my gadget world right now. Select one product that you saw at CES to get yourself. Normally I would say Oculus, because that's the thing I'm most excited about. But I think if I got, like... Free anything. Anything. It wouldn't be a three hundred dollar Oculus. It would probably be one of those like fifty thousand dollar four K TVs that are curved and AMOLED the whole deal. What about you? Good call. I, I have a video on my channel of all the cars of CES. Yeah. So there's a couple Ferraris in there, a couple of Lamborghinis in there. Oh, gonna, oh yeah. I did a video just on the Tesla Model S that I'm a particularly big fan of. So oh. I could take anything home. <laughs> technically it was there, so I'm gonna It say, was technically there. I'm gonna say the Tesla Model S was there. Yeah, I'm taking that. You're cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Are 4K devices really necessary? I mean, for phones and such. Ah, uh, uh, well, <laughs> okay, so 4K, uh, I like, I'm a fan of pixels, first of all. I yeah. love a high pixel density display. Uh, but I keep seeing the question, you know, when I see a 4K tablet, mm. can my eye see the difference between yeah. a, a 1080p tablet and a 4K tablet? And mm. the answer might be no. But when you when it's you know when you're asking if it's worth it if you have to pay yeah. more to get it right now right now the answer is usually no yeah yeah I'm with um, you there but I think the fact that it's no now doesn't mean anything about the future I think it's yeah. going to become worth it and more and mm -hmm. more you'll see much better panels in the future and I think I would never have a problem with having a yeah. 4K tablet or even a 4K phone if it ends up having yeah. a great experience what's a good budget DSLR to start out with if I want to produce videos similar to you and MKBHD. That's a good question. Uh, I started off with the Canon T2i. Now, when someone says budget, there's always a yeah, question, what does that mean? What do you mean by budget? Um, um, but, you know, as someone invested in the Canon lineup mm -hmm. and as someone who shoots Canon stuff, uh, getting in, in a huge ecosystem like that, the Canon T5i is yeah. a great, lightweight, user-friendly DSLR. It it'll take great video, actually. Mm -hmm. They're oh, absolutely. better and better. It's kind of hard to pick a bad camera right now yeah. uh, from that lineup. And I know you shoot Nikon. Yeah, I shoot Nikon. Probably not for too much longer. Um, I would actually go with the T3i, mm -hmm. mostly because the T... Well, obviously, the T5i is a couple years newer. But the T3i still shoots awesome video. It does lose out, lose out on the autofocus as well as the touchscreen. But it does have that flip-out screen, which is nice for when you're doing YouTube videos you need to film yourself. But it's also really cheap. I mean, I've seen these things for four or 500 bucks all the Better time. Budget, yeah. Whereas the T5i is a little bit more. So it depends on your definition of budget. Budget, but I think both of those are actually awesome choices to get yourself started and take some really nice, high-quality video. Yeah, for sure. Whose CES 2014 bag is heavier? All right, so I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say my bag is heavier. <laughs> this is my. Hey, hey, my, mine's big. This is my bag. Okay, for the record, what is the bag called? Uh, mine is the Kata 3N1-22. Okay, and this here is the 
uh, Tenba Roadie 2. We both mm -hmm. did a what's in our yeah. bag video. So if you want to verify, if you want to go through <laughs> the Amazon links and figure out what the contents of each bag weighs, you'll probably find that my bag had uh, heavier equipment in it, which is probably worse, honestly, because when yeah. you want to see, yes, it's not supposed to be all that heavy. Yeah, you don't so, want to carry around so 500 I think, pounds. I think you win this round because your bag was lighter. I win? Yeah. Oh, okay, I win. <laughs> anyway, if you guys want to see more of our videos from CES, you can check those out in the description. We both did a ton of videos from CES. In fact, there's probably still more to come. Uh, so if you guys want to check this guy out, you should absolutely check them out. What do they? What, what can they find on your channel if they aren't already subscribed from some weird coincidence? I talk tech, uh, consumer electronics, um, and basically that's why I'm more here at CES. Yeah. So. Uh, if you want a link, youtube.com slash, I did this slash way early, slash MKBHD, uh, and any other social network, slash MKBHD, that's slash. it. Slash MKBHD, everybody. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and we, or I, or somebody, will catch you guys next time. Who is sexier? I like how you said that with a really deep voice, like, well, me, of course. Um, <laughs> not gonna lie. It's me. There's, there's a, it's there, me. There's a comment section. No, 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 There's no, a comment no, section. No. Okay, you let us know how I am incredibly attractive and this guy is a seven and a half or whatever. I'm not gonna brag, but someone else once said it was an eight, so. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Eight, but this guy right here, like, you can't, you can't, you can't I, touch this. I cannot wait to read these comments. <laughs>